Hello everyone, we are doing this uh, channel, uh, cycling is relatively new to us and we'd like to sort of capture our thoughts on this and to see where we go with that and this is quite exciting because um, I've got into cycling quite uh, late, quite new and um, I'll just share my experiences with you in terms of how we went about doing it and how we're sort of hoping to take it forward. Now, if you're new to cycling, one of the first things you need to understand is there are different types of uh, cycling. Now, I'm sure at some point in your life, the majority of you for sure would have, have always ridden a bike. There's no doubt about it. But here's the thing. A lot of these bikes that we've ridden historically are not uh, really the performance type of bikes what you would come across uh, when you uh, take into get into cycling as a passion uh, eventually. I've on my own had multiple bikes. Uh, you know, as a child and even as an adult but what I'm really riding right now this as well as uh, you know my mountain is very different to uh, any of those uh, bicycles so um, one of the things uh, you really might want to really look at it is to see what really works for you now if you're really new to biking uh, don't go through so much of uh, YouTube videos trying to figure out what's the right type of bike for you I'll tell you the advice that I got from a good uh, friend of mine, uh, kind of uh, zen like a person, um, Fonny de Fonseca. What he told me was, Priyanka, go ahead and buy, buy something that's um, buy something probably that's affordable. Start riding, and as you go along, what you will find is you'll figure out what really works for you, what really is really good for you. So I went ahead and bought a specialized road bicycle which was within my budget, uh, a second-hand one that was built in 2012, if I'm not mistaken. Still to date, I have that. I'm using it for my regular, you know, travel to the boutique or whatever. And when I started riding that, uh, that's when I really understood uh, the, uh, the nuances of cycling. So more I rode, I started, uh, you know, initially I did about 8 to 10 kilometers. That was my initial ride. Then I sort of, you know, ramped it up to 16 kilometers. Then from there I started doing 20s, then 20 became 25, at which point I decided, okay, probably it's good, it makes good sense to really ride to work, which I started doing. So what was interesting was uh, in the mornings I used to uh, go to work uh, maybe 20 minutes after uh, the usual time that it takes, the travel time it takes for me to uh, ride by, ride using a um, my vehicle but interestingly in the evening almost at the same time because of uh, you know variety of um, traffic more I started doing it uh, more I started sort of inquiring about the bikes and then trying to figure out uh, uh, what type of uh, bikes that's out there and I decided to really initially invest in a road bike that's purely to sort of you know enjoy my riding to do the distance now for those of you who are quite uh, new to this whole thing remember a road bike uh, requires different types of geometry and you know when I bought this I still remember the first day I rode that uh, wasn't really the easiest one so if you haven't ridden a uh, racing bike before a roadie what we call a roadie uh, I highly recommend you to uh, go ahead and cycle a little bit you know borrow a roadie from another person ride a bit and see because the entire geometry of riding that bike is quite different right from height to everything they fit you for the bike uh, which is very different to your traditional way of looking at it. So uh, that was a really interesting experience. The more I started riding that, I got interested in looking at off-road capabilities. So that is when I went ahead and bought my Scott as well. So um, those are some of the tips. And remember when you get a bike, key thing is to get the bike fit right. So with the roadies, if you're buying a brand new, they generally love you to do that. Otherwise, there are plenty of YouTube channels that's out there that talks about how to do a bike fit even at home to the you know, to the uh, to an extent that's going to sort of allow you to do it. So for me, from a road bike point of view, the maximum I do is about 60 to 65 kilometers. I still haven't done the elusive hundred, so to speak at once uh, but there are lots of people who do like 100 plus you know some people do 200 etc etc so um, play around with it and uh, welcome and uh, join the club uh, it's never too late to uh, ride a bike and it hey, it's it's really good might not be the best thing for the economy uh, although biking is not cheap that's a fact anybody who has got into cycling will tell you it's not a cheap sport um, although people would like to say because you buy the bike then you start accessorizing and then you get into equipment you know um, we will talk about it in another video so this I thought was quite interesting for anybody who's interested in getting into cycling so 
there you go until we see you again on another episode